Thank you, Walker. And time now for In the Garden with Carrie Hefner. And today we are talking about uh, several subjects, uh, including the potato talk that was going to happen, but uh, it's been postponed. It's been postponed, yeah. So we got a call today. The seed potatoes have not arrived, so we had to put this off a okay. week. That was the program on planting potatoes we had planned at Dalha Feed and Supply for tomorrow night. We'll just put that off until next week, January 26th. That's at Delhi Feed and Supply, 1319 Broadway Street, which is south of the interstate at 5.30 p.m. So come on out uh, next Wednesday night and uh, hear about planting potatoes. And so with all the cold weather around, uh, people are probably wondering, what can we plant in the vegetable garden this time of year? And mm -hmm. one thing that can go in now is English peas. Nice. A uh, very cold-resistant mm -hmm. crop. And uh, these, are, these are not the purple hole peas. These are actually the green pea or the garden pea, snow peas, sugar snaps, whatever you call them. Uh, in our area, we try to get these in the ground no later than mid-February if we have to. Of course, it's all up to Mother Nature. And these are great plants because just like a lot of other legumes, they are nitrogen fixers, require very little fertilizer. And we had some uh, things growing out at the kitchen garden in the zoo uh, last year. So this is a, an heirloom pea from the Jones family in Wynn Parish. Those are what the seeds look like. We planted them in the kitchen garden out there large robust plants that produce these beautiful green pods with these wonderful green peas uh, in them. There we go. Isn't Perfect. That gorgeous? It is gorgeous. Wonderful <laughs> and delicious and that's a, an heirloom that's been passed down since probably the 1860s through the Jones family. So we thank Jubal Jones and his family for those. English peas are very easy to grow, no fertilization. If you must fertilize, use something like an 824-24, something very low in nitrogen. No need to side dress later on because they make their own nitrates and they will need a trellis or something called pea brush to climb up on. You can just take sticks or twigs out of your yard, stick them among the plants and they'll climb up on those. Low pest pressure this time of year, so should be a very productive crop for our home vegetable gardeners. So you should plant them in the ground in your garden or in a pot or either way? Either way. Uh, we had great success with them in ground, but they can be grown in containers too. So. I might do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those are good. Uh, just yeah. leave them in, leaving them in the, the pod. Right, right. Oh, yeah. The, we say the sugar snaps mm -hmm. are the ones you eat in the pod, but the truth is that when Parish English pea was delicious straight off the vine. So. Oh, I bet it was. Anything yep. else, Carrie? I uh, just want to thank everyone who came out to the Master Gardener Seminar on Saturday. P. Allen Smith was there. We streamed it online and a few technical glitches, but otherwise we had a very good seminar. And thanks everyone who came out to Ag Expo and stopped by Extension. Alley. Great crowd. Glad it was a success. Thanks, okay. Gary.